Hi guys, it's your girl Coco and welcome to my channel. So today's vlog is going to be a fun one. I've always wanted to do a hand and foot cast for my son. So I did some research in Hong Kong and overseas. I made a few inquiries and found that it was not cheap. I decided to look online and stumbled across the Luna Bean Deluxe Casting Kit off Amazon. And I decided, why not give it a go? So in today's vlog, I'm going to go through the entire process step by step, and I'm going to link the item in my description box below. All right, let's get started. Okay, so first, order and shipping. So I purchased this off Amazon for around 35 US dollars, which is roughly around 272 Hong Kong dollars. So shipping is quick, it arrived in a week's time, and it comes in a cardboard box that's around three kilograms. So I purchased the Luna Bean Deluxe Casting Kit in bronze. Now, I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but on their website, there are other kits that you can try. I just purchased this because I feel it's one of their best sellers and you can make several, if I'm not mistaken, seven casts, which can include their hands, their feet, even their bum which I don't think I'm gonna do unless I wanna embarrass my son 18 years from now. Okay, so unboxing, because that's always fun. So items included are seven molding powder, seven casting stone, two hand molding containers, two reusable foot container tray, one baby bottom casting tray, plastic spoon, mixing sticks, sanding papers, hole punch, sealant or finish, and paint brushes, which are optional. What you do need that's not included in the box is a mixing bowl and a measuring cup. Okay, so the good thing about this is that it does come with a very useful instruction manual, which I do encourage you all to read and go through. Step one making the mold. You do need to decide whether you want to do a hand or a foot casting, and they do recommend to start with the foot. Let's get to it. For the foot, it says to add two cups of water into the molding tray. Next, we're gonna dip his foot into the tray just to get him a little used to the temperature of the water. So we are gonna use his left foot for this. After that, just massage it so he's used to it. All right, I'll see you later, big guy. I should add, before starting this, it's actually advised to put some sort of newspaper or unused paper just so you can avoid all the mess. The next step is to empty one bag of molding powder into the water. This is so exciting. And then we're gonna mix slowly. Now, you can see that the color starting to change. It's actually gonna turn a little bit of pink and then it's gonna go back to white. It's important to really do this quickly, I would say, because if we miss the window of opportunity, it's gonna get too hard. I really hope I'm doing this right. Anyway, even if I get this wrong, I have six other packs of mold. So the reason why I think it's taking a little longer to turn white is because we did not use warm water. Warm water makes it set faster. Okay, so it started to lose a little bit of its pink color, which you can see. So we are going to immediately put baby's foot in here. So you will need a helpful partner and a baby to do this, obviously. This is the tricky part because we really need to make sure he stays still. Hey guys, baby needs to stay still for this. You can see how tense my husband is. <laughs> You're gonna have to hold this in place for anywhere between one to four minutes. If he's not in the best mood, it's gonna be a little bit harder. So he keeps moving and I'm really worried about this. I hope it sets. Okay, to figure out whether the mold has set, you need to put your fingers on and it should not stick. Once that's done, wait an additional 30 to 45 seconds. Okay, he's really grumpy right now, but how you can remove this is to gently wiggle his foot until it's removed. All right. After that's done, you need to rinse baby's foot to make sure that all the mold is eliminated. Once that's done and out of the way, you need to move on to step two within the hour. 
If you're not able to finish this, it's advised to wrap it in seal and put it in the fridge. Next, you will need half a cup of cold water and the mixing bowl. So with the casting stone, do set aside at least one teaspoon of this just to repair any imperfections later. You will need to let the water soak up the powder before you blend until it's thickened slightly which would take around three to four minutes. So once this is thickened, you will need to immediately pour this into the mold. All right, so I think it's blended enough. We will now need to pour this completely inside our mold. So just make sure you tilt back and forth to ensure there's no trapped air inside the case or the mold. All right, so that's it. So now you're just going to have to allow the cast to harden, which can take anywhere between one to two hours or more. Now for any unused or remaining casting stone liquid, make sure you don't dump it into the sink, put it in the garbage. Two hours later. Gently remove the mold and take the cast out. I emphasize gentle because if you're not careful, you can break off the edges when removing the mold. As you can see, this was my very first time doing this and the cast captured a little bit of his legs because he kept moving and because he's a little older. Personally, I think this adds a unique touch. If you can, however, try to do this when baby is asleep or distracted. Earlier, I mentioned to set aside a teaspoon of casting stone powder. This is for painting over any bubbles or holes due to trapped air. As you can see, there are a bit of imperfections around his toe area and I'm trying to fill it in with casting stone. Once this is all done, set the cast aside to fully dry for around a week or so. It's important to make sure you keep the casts in a dry area. One week later. Use the scratch paper provided to smooth and rough edges. Personally, I'd be careful with this. We don't want to do this entirely because the cast captures details, including lines and creases, which is a nice personal touch. Once done, take the paint and the brush provided and start painting. I suggest painting one side first, the top, so you can let it dry before doing the bottom. As you can see, I'm not an expert painter, but my suggestion is to apply the paint in one direction. After this, let it set for half an hour before applying the second layer. Remember to paint the sides and the corners. There's an extra step in the instruction manual on how to attach or create a cast with a base. I decided to forego this step and keep it as it is. And that's it. I went ahead and did several more casts, which turned out to be amazing. Look at the tiny details. It's so worth it. I suggest getting the deluxe version that lets you create up to seven casts. I managed to make extra pairs to give away to my mom and my mother-in-law. It's a cute and simple way to bond with baby and partner or whoever's helping out. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you've done something similar and hit me up in the comments. Until then, stay tuned to In Life with the Coco.